Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. It's time for another Q&A. Let's say that you are on a date. You and your partner order some food at a nice restaurant. You decide to get the steak. But what caused you to choose that particular item? Was it your free choice? Or was it predetermined? Our intuition tells us that we are the ones who made the decision. We like to think that we have control over our minds, what we think and what we do. But in 1983, Benjamin Labette performed an experiment that sparked a lot of controversy. In the experiment, he had a volunteer make a decision about when to do a simple action, such as flicking the wrist. They announced out loud when they made the decision while the activity of their motor cortex was being recorded. Shockingly, the motor cortex became active before the conscious decision was made. It appeared like one's free will was just an illusion. And while Labette himself even doubted the experiment's ability to answer the question of whether or not we have free will, it got a lot of people thinking, are our actions truly free? A while ago we made a video about the unconscious mind, and in that video we discussed the concept of priming, meaning that certain events have an effect on how we behave. For example, seeing a briefcase will make people more competitive. They may think that they're acting freely, but they don't realize the briefcase had an effect. So some argue that free will is just an illusion and we are simply not aware of the causes of our actions. But with all that said, what does physics have to say about free will? Well, Sir Isaac Newton would argue that everything you do is predetermined. See, according to his laws of physics, the world was deterministic. Everything that happened in the past had an effect on the future. So the fact that you ordered that simmering steak on your date was always meant to be. But this begs the question, is anyone morally responsible for their actions? Should Jeffrey Dahmer be punished for killing and eating people if it was destined to happen? You can see where this can get a bit controversial and creepy. N no, hey, get away from me. This was not an invitation for you guys. Anyway, so then there's quantum physics. While Newton's laws are deterministic, the behavior of some atomic particles is inherently unpredictable. So some philosophers think that free will makes use of this randomness, allowing for us to make free, undetermined decisions. But can these tiny effects make up the macro level concept of free will? That's still under debate. So what do you think? You clicked on this video seemingly using your free will. Do you think you truly made that decision? Or do you think it was set in stone since the Big Bang? Maybe you have another theory. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this discussion going. If you want to see Life Noggin make more awesome content, consider contributing to our Patreon page. Head over to patreon.com slash lifenogginstudios. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.